Frozen has been unquestionably a huge hit for Disney, and many critics, or uh, not necessarily critical critics, but people who have watched the movie have saying have praised it for its uh, pro-gay undertones. And other people are saying that this has been a, a long-standing tradition for Disney to have more of a pro-gay, pro-queer uh, reading to it. I definitely agree with anybody that says Frozen has gay undertones, and I think it's great. I really love that uh, Frozen has been widely accepted as being the quote-unquote the gay Disney movie, but I don't necessarily think that that is actively what Disney was pursuing in this film or in their other films. I just think that what they've done over the years is done a great job of making these protagonists that people can put their own story into yes. and decide who they you relate to. It. Um, it has a it has the storyline with the one sister. Not for Elsa. Exactly. But she she's kind of interesting in that she's a heroine but she has no love interest and that's not the the core of, of what she wants or her I want songs. So oh, people sure. were saying that this was the gay movie because uh, Elsa is scared to reveal who she is inside lest she be shunned and and kicked out of her kingdom. Um, they raised the question of were you born or cursed, asking, you know, like, were you born with it or did you maybe make a choice? But that's, that's uh, putting those readings into there. But I, I agree with you that I think that um, later Disney movies, especially, have focused on the other or the person who has felt marginalized by mm -hmm. society in some way and they want something that they otherwise could not have so they have to either transform or go on an adventure or a, a, a journey to figure that out. So you can definitely project whatever um, feeling of otherness, I think. Um, for instance, I believed, uh, not necessarily, I thought it could also have been read as a mental health Very reading of Frozen, so, because yeah. we have those stigmas in society today, too, about, you know, people being scared or, or uh, in opposition to people with a mental health disorder. Disney as a company has always had a very, you know, open stance. They're very accepting of all people. They want people to be who they are and chase the lives that they want. And they've been a neutral and open company. And in their films, they've given a lot of openings for people to find a relatable character. I like that Disney is no longer feeling that they have to tell the romantic story, mm -hmm. that they can actually put a movie out there that lets uh, people tell their story. And mm -hmm. that's something that's always been there for Disney, is letting people put their own stuff on screen. I mean, putting romance aside for a second, mm -hmm. two qualities that are, are very present in Disney and Pixar and a lot of movie protagonists is one being an outcast, mm -hmm. you know, being outside the norm society around. You can find that in just about every Disney movie. And two, learning to find acceptance in yourself. And the qualities that make you different also make you a hero. And you can apply that to yourself no matter how you feel because everyone has felt like an outcast at some time or another whether you're gay or whether you're a, you know a different race than everyone else around you or whether you know any sort of difference that you have in yourself you can identify with the outcast of a Disney movie and find acceptance so I think it's not so much that Frozen is super pro gay it's that right now the general cultural society is obsessed with homosexuality and so mm -hmm. that's the lens that we're looking for and we can apply that to everything. Mm -hmm. I do think Disney is pro differences and I think that's a better way to say it. Right. They are very much uh, a company that has always tried to find... I wouldn't say always. Well, for the most part has tried to celebrate people's differences mm -hmm. and give, some, give people somebody to look to. I think uh, the, uh, the Princess and the Frog was uh, a big deal to them to make sure that they put out a representation for African-American girls. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that is part of what they want to do. They want to give everybody who wants a Disney princess, they want to give them a Disney princess. Now, that is, is that corporate? Yes, that's a corporate strategy. It's definitely profitable for uh, them. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's not completely altruistic, of course. Right, but in the days we, where we are you know, dividing up our content and everybody's getting very hyper-specific on what they can get into, it's great to see that. And also, it's great to see them celebrating women in general and, and celebrating the idea that they can do more than even what old Disney films limited what they could do. At, even as far as Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell in the direct-to-video uh, movies is now an engineer. I do like that they're promoting engineering. Yes. Because that's something we need as a society, so yay! Um, it, it's, it's nice to see uh, something where children are being encouraged to pursue what does engineering mean, or they have an alchemy fairy mm -hmm. that, you know, is a chemist. It's, it's really fascinating I stuff. did not know that much about the fairy Dude. franchise. 
it's all in here, man. I'm proud of you, Brian. <laughs> now, of course, we don't, you know, Disney isn't 100% perfect and, and, and uh, what have you, but we do appreciate these themes of, of celebrating the other and being okay with yourself and being okay with your differences. What do you think of the reading of Frozen and the other movies being pro-gay or at least pro-other? Let us know what you think below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.